no matter what you want to buy. You'll find it all on the hub. The SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. My name is Ehime Egbe and I'm the founder of Sweet Kiwi Frozen Yogurt. We're in Lagos, Nigeria in Lekki, where we have our flagship store. I had the idea to start Sweet Kiwi Frozen Yogurt in, I think it was about 2009. I was in Dallas, Texas at the time. I worked for Citigroup. I was a bankruptcy litigator and I was looking for something else to do aside from working and I kind of run, came across the idea of frozen yogurt and I fell in love with it absolutely. A friend of mine took me to a frozen yogurt shop and I just thought okay I should do one of that and I actually wanted to open it in the US but then I came to Nigeria on vacation in 2009 in December. And every time I would ask, I want to go to a frozen yogurt, I want frozen yogurt. And my dad could, didn't even know what I was talking about. He kept saying, I don't know, I don't know, nobody knows, you know, and just realized there was no frozen yogurt store in Nigeria. And I thought to myself, yeah, that was like, I, instead of doing it in the US, I'll come and do it in Nigeria. So we started operations in 2011 in Nigeria because it took me a while to actually decide that I actually wanted to come back because there were a lot of you know, things I had to consider, I have to give up my job, I have to come to Nigeria and I didn't even know if it was going to work out and Nigeria has its own challenges which are unique to the environment. Um, but I came back and it's been great, it's been a great experience so far. The reception I got uh, when I came to Nigeria was a, a bit of mixed reception because my family was very supportive, at least half of them. My parents were ex excited because this means I was finally coming back after a very, very long time. Um, my brother, on the other hand, and a couple of other people were, were just not maybe as receptive because they kind of felt, so you have a very great job, why would you want to leave that and come here and just start struggling? Um, but I came and we did our first sampling session at the Get Arena and people loved it. It was amazing. I didn't even expect that kind of reception. We had people queuing, saying they wanted to buy, we should stop giving out free samples. So everyone actually loved the product and the next day we got calls about doing events, weddings, and that was, it wasn't actually our focus. It was just something that we came to because of the challenge of actually opening a location in Nigeria. I thought I was just gonna come and open a store, but then you start looking at prices of stores and you start looking at even finding the space, it's not even about the price anymore. Actually finding the space in the right location was a major challenge. So we just thought, why don't we start doing events in the meantime, since people are requesting for us to, you, instead of waiting and waiting to open a store and then the event industry, event side of the business kind of took off. We started very, I think we had very kind of humble beginnings because I actually, I didn't understand the magnitude of the events we were doing, maybe because I wasn't familiar with the Nigerian social scene and the people, but we had fantastic events because we were the only people doing yogurt at the time. So we did Anthony and Nenny's uh, birthday. I think it was his 70th birthday, I think we did, um, in Abuja. Um, we got to go over there and do that. We've done very interesting banks. We do GTB. Um, we've had some very high profile clients over the years. And it's, I think it's now that it occurs to me when I get to the event and I see the size and the magnitude and I'm like, oh wow, this is actually a big deal. At first when I started, I didn't have that thing in mind like I didn't think I just thought oh it's a wedding it's a, and you go there and then you're it's 2,000 people it's 3,000 people and you're kind of awed so I think that we were very lucky in the sense that we were the first people who broke ground with it so a lot of people have come to know us and come to know our quality and our level of service and we got to do a lot of major major events in Nigeria I have to say we did a Forbes man of the year award event um, I think this was in 2012. You know, we've had very, a lot of successes, especially with our outdoor events, because I would like to say that our outdoor events actually built the store. You know, it facilitated the, 
funds and everything to get to this point that we are. Uh, what motivates me, I would say, is the love for what I do. Um, I've always had a passion for food. I've always wanted to do something related. I plan to open a Mongolian restaurant, but that's coming. Um, I just love what I do, and once I, I'm, it's my personality really. Once I, I decide to do something, I put everything I have into it. And wake, I wake frozen yogurt, I sleep frozen yogurt, you know, it's everything. And I don't feel like I'm working really. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy researching, creating new flavors, you know, finding out new things. So it's not, I, I just love it. So I don't need to be motivated. It's already in there. I'm excited and I don't feel like it's actually work. I can be here all day. I can be here for three days and not get any sleep as long as there's something exciting going on. So yeah, I think I'm self self-motivated and the business, the product actually motivates me. Our future plans for Sweet Kiwi, I would say, we're looking to introduce new products into the market. Uh, we're looking at doing frozen yogurt popsicles, frozen yogurt pies, frozen yogurt cakes, down that line. Uh, right now we're working on doing a, 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 having a partnership with the supermarkets where we can stock our tubs of frozen yogurt. So you can go to the supermarket and pick up a tub of Sweet Kiwi, um, we're looking to work with the airlines as well and create like a little package for them so they can serve customers, you can have it in flight. Um, we're also looking to open um, more stores in Ikeja, uh, looking to do a franchise. We're working with a company to work on our franchise program. So from at least next year, sometime before the end of next year, we would roll out a franchise program for the whole of Africa. Um, so you can be in Kenya and have a Sweet Kiwi franchise. You can be in Zimbabwe and have a Sweet Kiwi franchise in Gambia, anywhere. So our goal is actually to be the biggest frozen yoga franchise in Africa. Um, and that's what we're working towards. I think for upcoming entrepreneurs and people who want to go into business, I would say there's no fast and hard rule. Everybody has their own unique personality, but the things I've realized are very important, and eye for detail, people really appreciate that. Um, passion for what you do, love for what you do, because if not, you get tired. Um, I always say that, you know, um, deep roots aren't reached by the frost. It's something I got from the, from the Lord of the Rings. That basically just means that if you do your work well, you build up little by little, put those bricks in place and you don't rush. You get to where you want to get to. Be. And normally in every climate, there's always trials, there's always problems. But one thing that I've realized is that if you lay the foundation properly, you know, you would always withstand the storm. So deep roots aren't reached by the frost. You do your homework and lay your, lay your foundation properly. Don't rush. Make sure you do things right and you do things properly. What people love about our frozen yogurt is that it's light, it's very refreshing, it looks like ice cream, it tastes like yogurt, has an ice cream feel to it, but it's almost 80% less, has 80% less calories than ice cream does, which is amazing. What I would like to let people know about being a CEO, um, it's hard work. It's hard work, but I love it. I love every minute of it. I love my team. I love everything that we're able to put out, everything we're able to create. Sweet Kiwi is the one-stop shop in Africa for delicious frozen yogurt. There's nothing like it, nothing beats this. We developed our own recipe to make sure that you have the best frozen yogurt available in the world. You know, it's a great combination of tart and sweet frozen yogurt. It's an amazing product. You should try it. Healthy, never tasted better. Hi guys, if you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now. And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.